In today's video, we're going to be making this glowing text effect using Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so let's head over there now and get started on making this effect. In Photoshop, the first thing you need to do is open up this background image that I supplied. It's basically just a straight road running through the middle of the image. Um, when you do bring it in, I want you to open up your Layers panel. I'm actually going to break my Layers panel off from the side there, just so I can see it sitting over here at all times, because I will be using it quite a bit. I do want to see what's going on in my Layers panel. You can move it anywhere around the page. Okay, I'll just sit it over the side here, though. Right, the first thing we need to do to get started today is we're going to right-click on this background layer and just duplicate the layer. It'll ask for a name. Don't worry about a name, just click on OK. It can be called Background Copy. Once Background Copy appears in your page, just hit the little Visibility button next to it, that little eye symbol, just to turn its visibility off. We're not going to use that Background Copy layer right now. We're going to come back and use that a little bit later on. And I want you to go back down and select your Background layer, so the bottom layer there. Okay, this is the one we need to work with first of all today. Now on top of this Background layer, we're going to add some text in. Okay, so I want you to go over to your little foreground color box here and ensure that you've got white selected as your color. Then I want you to grab your type tool. Okay, so it's that little T symbol. And I want you to make your font from the properties box up the top here, Queen of Clubs. Now Queen of Clubs won't come installed on your computer by default, so what you'll need to do is go over to dafont.com and download it and then just double click on it once it's downloaded to install it on your computer. If you're in my class though, I'll already give you a copy of this to install. Now you don't have to use Queen of Clubs if you don't want to. Okay, you can use another similar font if you'd like. But once you've got Queen of Clubs selected, just click on the page and write a simple word that's like four or five letters long. I'm just going to write the word text. From here, I'm going to grab my Move tool at the top of my toolbox there and make sure that Show Transform Controls is selected and turned on. That way you can see the little bounding box around the uh, letters there. And you can hold down Shift and just resize your text. You want to get it nice and big and then move it down onto the road. Okay, so that the letter T at the start and the letter T at the end fit nicely inside the road. Okay, whatever word you wrote, make sure that the letters fit nicely into the road there. When you're done, just press the tick at the top of the page. All right, and that's how we're looking at the moment. The next thing we need to do, so we can edit this text and add some glow effects to it in a moment, is right-click on this layer here, the text layer. And I want you to rasterize the type. Okay, it doesn't actually do anything that you can see visibly, but what it does mean, it means that we can now start applying some effects to it. And the first thing we want to do to this text is add a reflection onto the road. Alright, so what we're going to do is right click on this text layer again, and we're going to duplicate the layer. Okay, it's going to ask for a name. I'm going to call it Text Top, and click OK. And then over in my layers here, this text layer, I'm going to double click on that, and I'm going to click Text Bottom. So Text Top and Text Bottom. You just double click on them to rename them. Okay, and the bottom one is going to be our reflection text. Okay, so go and select Text Bottom. Go up to your Edit menu and select Transform, and then flip it vertically. And that just turns your text upside down. Now I'm going to hold the Shift key and press the Down arrow, just to move my text down until it looks something like that. There'll be just a skinny little gap between the two layers of text. Okay. Now to make it look more like a reflection, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Edit menu. Oh, sorry, we'll select Text Bottom first. Then go to the Edit menu, down to Transform, and we're going to do a perspective transform. Grab the bottom left corner and just start stretching the text out till it comes near the edge of the road. So something like that. It doesn't go quite onto that white line on both sides, but goes close. Press the tick at the top just to apply those changes. Now what we're going to do is grab our Move tool again and make sure Show Transform Controls is selected. And we're going to resize it, so just push it up a little bit like so. Press the tick at the top to apply those changes. You can see the letter T's now have gone outside the road. We need to push them back in. So we just go back to Edit, Transform, and Perspective again. And we're just going to grab... Actually, we don't want to do that. Grab the bottom corners, sorry, and just drag them back in onto the road. Just so both sides fit onto the road nicely. Press the tick to apply those changes. And you should have a reflection looking something like that. 
make sure that the bottom of the T, the E, the X and the T there match up with one another. All right, so that's looking pretty good. What we can do now is just hide that text bottom layer. Just hit the little I next to it there in your layers panel. We're going to come back and edit later on. We just want to work with this text from now. From now. All right, so the next thing we want to do just to make our text effects stand out a little bit more is we want to make our background here a lot darker. Okay, it's going to be a lot more um, powerful effect if we can make this background darker and the text really bright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bottom background layer here. Okay, and then I'm going to go up to the adjustment panel over here. And I'm going to choose the hue and saturation option. So that's in the second row, first option. Click on that. And I want you to press this little square at the bottom with an arrow coming out the left side of it. That just means apply this effect to the layer below it only. So that's the background layer. And what I want you to do with the saturation lever, just pull it down to minus 50. Okay, and then what it does is just sucks the color out of the photo. So we've now only got 50% color in the photo, and we suck the other half out, and it starts to go, well, it starts to look a little bit more grayscale, if anything. All right, so that's all good. You can close that adjustments panel. If you want, and go back and click on your background layer again. On your background layer, we're going to go back to our adjustments panel and do another adjustment. This time it's the exposure adjustment. So that's a little plus and minus symbol. Exposure will allow us to change how bright the image is. Okay, so with the exposure lever, pull it down to about minus 2.75-ish, minus 2.8, and around that area. Type it in if you want. So minus 2.75 is what I'm going to type in for the exposure. And just press enter. You can close that panel again. And you can see now we've got this nice dark background that allows our text to stand out on top of it. All right, so that's looking good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back over to our layers panel and select the background copy layer, the one at the top of our layers box here. And we're going to make it visible again. Okay, and that comes out on top of all the other effects we've applied, so we can't see anything else below it unless we make it invisible. Basically, what I want to do now is get this top background to shine through where the white text is. And that's going to make more sense when I actually do it. Okay, so make this top layer visible, and then right-click on it. And just choose the option Create Clipping Mask. Okay, and what that does is just makes that background shine through the text layer below it. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Next thing we're going to do is apply a few effects to this text. Okay, so we're going to select the text top layer here. Okay, and you can right click on it and choose blending options. A little box will appear. Okay, where we can start to play with a few settings. First thing we're going to play with is the stroke. Okay, just select the stroke there. And what we want to do is we want to make the size of our stroke one pixel. The position of the stroke should be on the outside. Uh, the blend mode, we'll just leave it as normal, and the opacity, we might drop it down to about 70%, so it's a little bit harder to see. And the colour that we want to use is just white, so select right in that top left hand corner and click OK. And you can just see a little white outline around our text now, and okay, that's a stroke. If you ever want to put an outline around your text, use that. Alright. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a glow around the outside of our text. Okay, so we've got an option down the bottom called Outer Glow. Now with Outer Glow selected, what we're going to be doing is up the top changing the Blend Mode to Overlay. Okay, the colour should be white, so if it's not white, make sure you've selected white. And the opacity for this one will probably bump it up to 100%. Okay, if you move it around you can see what it does. Let's make our uh, glow 100%. And then looking down a bit further, we've got the spread here. Let's make the spread about 2%. And the size, you can make this pretty big. Um, let's bump it up. Go around oh, about the 150 mark, I reckon. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. If I turn the preview box here on and off, you can see what sort of effect it's actually applying to this text. So, so far, it's looking pretty good. One last thing we want to add in is an inner glow now. So right in the middle there we've got this inner glow option. Okay, I want you to change the blend mode to overlay like we did with the outer glow. Um, the opacity, let's make it about 60%. Let's 
quickly. The noise as is. The color should be white again. So if it's not white, make sure you select white. And down a bit further here, just want to change the size to about 80 pixels. Okay, and that just makes that text a lot brighter. Click OK when you're done. And that's now applied that text effect. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm just going to expand this layers panel a bit. Can't see everything in it. Where are we? There we are. Alright, so what I want to do in this layers panel now is select the bottom text layer. So text bottom. And we want to change its blend mode to overlay. Okay. I might actually turn its visibility on first, or we're not going to see what happens here. Now what we're going to do with the text bottom layer, when we select overlay, it's going to blend it into the road. Okay, and it looks a lot more like a reflection on the road. All right. We're also going to add a little bit of a blur effect to it. This won't affect it too much, but up the top, you can go to the blur filters and just choose the Gaussian blur option. Okay, so you go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and give it a one pixel radius and click OK. That just slightly blurs it. Oh, it's looking pretty good though right now. Next thing we want to do is just duplicate this reflection layer just to make it stand out a little bit more. So with text bottom selected again, just right click on it and duplicate the layer. Click OK. You can see that it just comes out twice as bright. Now with that text bottom copy layer that we just put in selected, what I want you to do is add a layer mask to it. And the way we do that, we just select that layer, go down the bottom and push that button that is a rectangle with a circle in the middle of it. That adds a layer mask to it. Okay, and you see that's been added here. It hasn't actually changed anything just yet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and select for our color here, black. It's our little top box there, the foreground color. Make sure it's selected to black. And then we're going to grab our gradient tool. Okay, it looks something like that. And at the top in your properties, I want you to choose this second option. That means it goes from black through to a transparent color. And simply click down at the bottom of that reflection and drag up towards the top of it there. And click. And what that does is it drops in a gradient that starts at black and then slowly comes through to transparent. So you can see that bottom effect shining through. Um, that's going to be about it, I think. Um, so I'll close that layers panel off. I'll just push it back over the side there. Yeah, that's it. I can't think of anything else we need to add. So that is our glowing text effect all done and dusted. When you're saving, make sure you get a file. Save as. And if you're saving for the web, make sure it is a JPEG image. And just call it whatever you want. I'll just call mine example. And click save. JPEG options box will come up. Just check the size of it there. 91 kilobytes is tiny, so I can probably bump the size of it up to its maximum quality. And click OK. And that is our glowing text effect all done and saved.